Hi guys, it's Olivia here from Lilac Baby Co. and I'm here to show you how to design something in Canva.com and upload it into the Cricut Design Space. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe so you can be notified when I post more great content. If you have any new babies in your life and need a gift for a baby shower, uh, be sure to head on over to Etsy.com and I'll put my link in the description and there's lots of stuff there, um, baby gift sets, funny onesies, go check it out. So I start by typing in Canva.com. I like this program a lot better than the Cricut software, it's just much more user friendly. Um, so it doesn't really matter. I just usually do Instagram posts because it's a square and high resolution. Um, so I start by adding some text from a onesie. So I'm going to type in baby in one text box and Smith for an example in the second because I'm going to use two different fonts. Uh, for Smith, my favorite font is Joshico. It's one of those really nice, curly, fancy, fancy fonts. And I like mixing fonts, so I'm just going to look for something with not a whole lot of pizzazz. Something a little bolder, I think. Yeah, I like this one for um, capital letters especially. Okay, we'll just get them centered now and sized in relation to each other. It doesn't really matter um, how big they are. We can resize them later in the Cricut Design Space. Now we'll just click Download, make sure it's a PNG file, and click Transparent Background. And then you open up your Cricut Design Space. And just start a new project. Click Upload. And upload an image. And find it on your computer, wherever you saved it. There it is. And we're going to click simple because it's a simple design. There's not a lot of colors or shading or anything like that. And then continue. And this is just the window if you need to clean it up at all, but we don't. So that gives you two options, print and cut or cut image. And we want the cut image. And you can add a name for if you need to find it later. And some tags too if you're looking for it, if you need to go back to it. And there it is in uploaded images and we want to click insert. There it is. And for my um, smaller baby onesies, I like to use 4.25 inches for my width. I find it works pretty well. Okay, so we're all set. We're going to click make it. Okay, there it is. So we need to remember we're cutting out onto iron on vinyl, which is um, printed backwards. So we need to make sure to toggle the mirror switch, which will cut it backwards. So when you lay it on it will be the right way and just click continue it'll find your machine eventually okay and this little um, thumbnail over here if you just hover over it you can just check and make sure uh, your guidelines are correct and the mirror is on and we just select everyday iron on and we don't need to do anything in here. We just have the blade that's already installed. And then you just go over and press the start button on your Cricut machine and it cuts it out. And that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to be working on creating more 
uh, content here. So if you enjoyed this video, drop a like down below and make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye!